40 tons, so it says what it is on the side, 740, it's a 40 ton machine. It's all the new features that we talked about in the classroom, all right? We'll go back over those, automatic recharging control. It does have the automatic traction control, no button to push, no um, um, switch to turn on, the only machines on the market that there's no button to push for any portion of the traction control. We're also the only machine that's integrated with the steering system. So as this machine's working, you'll still be able to steer this machine. The GC has the automatic um, um, traction control as well. And it has the um, stability assist and the combined transmission um, hydraulic hoist lever. All right? So what does it not have to make it a GC? Okay? It doesn't have that retarding lever and it doesn't have a few of the comfort things that we talked about. Rear window wipers, rear window shades, fancy deluxe cooled leather heated seat, infrared glass. You can order those things on that machine, but they won't come standard. It still has a nice adjustable seat. It just doesn't have the heated cooled leather option that, uh, that some of the other machines can have. The other thing about the 740 GC, in terms of speed, okay, so think about productivity. We're in a large truck. Uh, market here whenever we're talking about the 40 or the 45 and that means typically productivity and speed on grade and performance okay the 740 GC is slower than the 745 deliberately because it's a GC okay so it's faster than previous generations but it's not as fast as the 745 if you want out and out productivity in a large truck you buy the 745 it's the most productivity focused truck on the planet right now okay so the 740 is just slightly slower than that. It's also slower than the 35 or the 30 in terms of speed on grade, okay? So it is just that little bit slower. But as I say, it's as, as fast as previous generations. So it'll run with the pack whenever you're on your fleet, okay? It won't end up with lots of stop start in your overall fleet, but it is aimed at a rental focus on a different price point. The 735 replaces the 735C we lost 14,000 pounds. Uh, what did we do to get there? Smaller engine, smaller transmission, smaller rear frame, smaller tires, okay? Uh, to the tune of 14,000 pounds. Same body, 35 tons, with a lot less added weight to it. But we've beeped up those structures where they're needed to. For example, 740B, y'all familiar with the old 740B? wheel bearings to handle uh, that additional payload, okay? Because you gotta realize this truck here is now being built off of the 730 platform. So we've given it more horsepower, so because there's a bigger payload in there, it needs additional horsepower to make it run. But if you give it more horsepower, you need to give it more stopping power. So not only have we added more horsepower, but we've added a hydraulic retarder on top of the engine retarder. So the 730 is a C13 with an engine retarder on it. The 735 has that same engine retarder and we've layered on top of that seamlessly a hydraulic retarder. So it's got more stopping capabilities as well. In terms of the structures, they're all beefed up versus the 730. And as Scott talked about in terms of the drivetrain, the wheel bearings are now oversized versus what a 735 should be. So with that, we've added durability back where we need to. The 30, it's the new cab. What's with the new cab? All the technology features we talked about in the classroom, recording control, traction control update, stability assist, um, the assisted hoist feature, the combined transmission hydraulic hoist lever, visibility, safety, all of that is on all of our machines uh, from the 45 down to the 30. Same cab fits all of them and all that technology rolls all the way through. And we do want to just reiterate now we've got that full line of machines with the same cab and same technology in there and we've got the complementary then bare chassis machines for the service applications so you can get all those benefits but now you can get them in a standard wheelbase variant or a long wheelbase variant